I think so. I mean, it's always, um, well, apart from the fact that the casino burnt down, which was, didn't make us happy, but uh, it made us uh, quite wealthy. <laughs> but, um, Actually, we went back there yesterday to the Grand Hotel. It's not a hotel anymore. It's an apartment block. And the actual corridor is small. Yeah. It's tiny. Where we made the album. You must have used a small kit in those days. No, I was smaller. It's, it's about, you were smaller. I was much smaller in those days, yeah. The new album is called The House of the Blue Lights. Any uh, connections to reality? What do you think about when you're talking about the house of the blue lights? One for Roger, that, don't you think? Yes, that's a Roger question. <clears throat> it's actually an Ian Gillen question, because he wrote it. Mm. It was in a lyric, speaking. Yeah. The opening lyric goes, Good golly, said little Miss Molly, when she was rocking in the house of blue light. So, it's, it's that's part your story. of one, one of our songs, and it just seemed like a, a good phrase to hang a hat on. You know, if you call an album something or a group something, after a while it, it becomes meaningless, really. It's just a, a label, it's just a, a way of referring to it. <clears throat> you know, so, but it's, it's a, you need something that sounds nice, sounds yes. interesting. How do you work on your songs? Do you arrive with the finished material or do you work on the songs when you're in the studio recording? Mm -hmm. It's pretty spontaneous, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, a lot of the ideas were done before but on a very um, small base, you know, just a rough idea, a few bars, a few, um, and a rough idea. And I think one track was, was done in the studio. Uh, it sort of happened in the studio. Bad attitude, didn't it? Mm. Mm. Uh, there's no f uh, formula with us. I actually start off with maybe a riff for a, a chord sequence. Uh, that's in the rehearsal stage. When we get to the recording stage, we just take all the ideas and filter out the bad ones get a good one and then work on it then then it becomes a song did you work with any synthesizers on this album yeah i i don't use them in a, a very upfront way i use them as a color rogers played a little bit of synthesizer as well and richie used a synthesizer guitar on one, mm, one, yeah, on one track. track um they're sort of state of the art now you have to we well, don't have to but it's that they give you a, a wide possibility of sounds and effects. They actually, in some instances, make recording easier. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, they're okay. I still like real instruments. I prefer the organ and the piano. 1986 is again a very strong time for hard and heavy metal music. How do you feel about bands, new bands, young bands such as Bon Jovi or Europe, this Scandinavian band which has a great success here in Europe and Switzerland as well? Um, Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel confused about it, really. Uh, there's obviously a lot of very good players out there. I mean, say, very good and very young. It's, it's quite staggering. But they don't seem to be giving themselves a chance. Everything is so narrow. You know, they, they, there's like two things they do. One's faster, one's very faster. Very faster? Very faster. Very faster. And uh, they, they don't seem to be looking for different avenues to try and make it a, a broader spectrum of hard rock music you know it seems like everybody's stuck in a, in a real rigid formula now mm -hmm. i just find it a little obvious a little boring how do you feel john when these people for example say that you that deep purple were a great influence to them very pleased i mean it's it's nice to think uh, that we were um an influence i uh would like to think that they would have listened a little harder to some of the other, some of the influences that we had, um, and still have. I, I like to think that we are, uh, as Ian put it, uh, not so at such a narrow uh, field of vision. I like to think that we have a wider field of vision and uh, take more influences into our work than perhaps some of the younger bands are doing. But of course, to be cited as a as an influence on someone else is very pleasant. The first single here in Europe will be Call of the Wild. What is this song all about? Um, loneliness, I suppose. It's a phone call. It's uh, someone calling up an operator looking for a girl who may or may not exist. And in fact, the influence came from that, from Chuck Berry, who did Memphis, Tennessee, which is a, a phone call. And the punchline of the Memphis, Tennessee one is that the girl he's looking for is only six years old and it's his daughter. And we didn't exactly do that. We were talking about uh, maybe uh, some girl that you fell in love with once before years ago or something and i don't know it's just a 
it's a nice way of looking at love. Mm -hmm. I like, the joke, I like uh, the joke of it, which is, it's, it's, it's the telephone call of the world, which I'm, <laughs> yeah. which I'm, which I'm rather like. Yeah. <laughs> no! The songs in this new album are quite heavy, quite rocking. Does that mean that all the years have passed by and you're still the same Deep Purple and you're, you have still the same power? I'm glad you thought that, because that's what, what the band is about. It's a, it's a hard rock band. Um, <clears throat> There's about, we would like to think that we are, we, we hope that we are still part of what everybody else is part of, which is the current music business as we see it. And if that's how it came across to you, then I'm happy. Mm. Uh, I am actually only seven years old, so I really can't, I'm not qualified <laughs> to answer this question. True. Heavy Rock has always been connected with machism and Heavy Rock has sometimes uh, sort of used women as sexual symbols. How do you treat women? With great respect. Uh, one for Roger, that really? Yes. <laughs> oh, <that's a> <laughs> how, do I treat, how do I treat women? <laughs> She's not answering. Mm. <laughs> I don't even think about those in those terms. You're talking about lyrics, or you're talking about yeah. life in general? I'm talking about lyrics. I'm talking also about uh, stage uh, shows of certain groups. Yeah. I know, I know, I know which, which kind of attitudes you're talking about. It's not something that this band's ever really. Um, taken to its, itself. Uh, most of Ian and Roger's lyrics are not about that kind of thing anyway. Mm -hmm. Hard Loving Woman is, on the new album, is, I suppose, about a, a stereotyped... It's not really detrimental, though, is it? It's not particularly it's detrimental. It's sexy woman. Mm -hmm. After all, rock and roll is about sex. It's very difficult to write rock and roll lyrics without thinking about sex. That's, I can't do anything it. without thinking about sex. <laughs> that's your problem, I mean. <laughs> We have doctors standing by and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 20 questions, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what is going on with Deep Purple when they're not on tour, when they're not rehearsing, when they're not making music? What do they do? Roger. That's, that's actually, we spend most of our time doing all those things. It's very few, very few months of the year that we have off. Um, I think we just spend it at home, families, working, writing. Mm. Most of the time we're working. I've got horse racing, don't I? Yeah. He, yeah, he gives money to, to bookies. <laughs> yeah. bookies. Bookkeepers? Book, you know, those <laughs> who take money at horse tracks. I go skiing whenever possible. <laughs> it would be very difficult in the summer. In England? Yes. Yeah. No, it's, that, he's right, there's, there's not a lot of freedom. <clears throat> no. But it's, <clears throat> it's part of, of the life of being a rock and roll musician, and it's great. It's very difficult on families, actually. Yeah. Being in, uh, especially if you've got big families with lots of kids, like Ian has. Jonas, yeah. quite amazing. I'm not it's difficult this. because you're you're always traveling. I've got a couple of hobbies. You're always traveling and you're always away from home, mm. and it does make life a little difficult. But no one said it was going to be easy. Roger, one of the reasons why Deep Purple broke up was because you had these endless tours, one tour after the other, a couple of tours <coughs> in one year, and you went on tour in '85, and you're going on tour in '87 again, again another tour. Aren't you afraid that the same thing is going to happen as, as uh, in the past? Well, it, it wasn't just touring that, that broke us up. I mean, that was just one of the reasons. Um, because of our touring commitments, we did, uh, in 1972, we did six tours of America, a tour of Japan, a tour of Europe, and an album. So it doesn't leave a lot of time. And, and all kinds of other personal problems come up, and you don't have time to iron them out. So it, it's not touring as such that, that led to that. Touring is something that we we thrive on, because Deep Purple is really a live band. Uh, being in the studio is a sort of necessary compromise that we have to make. But we really don't exist without being on stage. So it's probably the most important part of our lives is touring. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not a problem. What can the audience expect from you in the 87 tour? Nearly 25 minutes, I should think. <laughs> That's a lot. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Two hours of, of good music for a start. A um, few surprises. Probably. A few surprises, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the old songs and a lot of the new songs. Old ones, new ones, need neglected ones. <laughs> like the last tour plus this album. Mm -hmm. um, I don't quite know what the stage show is going to be like yet because I haven't been told. <laughs> it's um, a need to know basis. Yeah, I, I understand that there are some good surprises in store. Um, and you know, if, if you enjoy, uh, if you enjoy enjoying yourself, 
then you should come to a deep verbal concert because I think that's what our concerts are all about. Having a, you know, a, a good time. A damn good time. A damn good time. Especially yeah. if we all turn up. <laughs> what, what, in volume? At the same time. <laughs>